And now it's time for some things in the news that caught my eye. And if you've been eyeballing a new game console like a PS4, an Xbox, or a Nintendo Switch, you might want to buy it soon because it looks like game consoles are in the next round of tariffs to be suggested by the United States government against China. Uh, you can find the full list of affected products here on screen. I believe they are currently looking for public comment on this, and I'm sure most of the public would not want to pay more for anything, and they haven't listened to many people on that unless you have a bunch of lobbyists on your side, uh, like larger companies do. Uh, so what you're going to be seeing here after these take effect is a 25% increase likely in cost on video game consoles, wireless game controllers, set-top boxes, all those cheapo ones we look at from China from time to time, but also some mainstream boxes like the NVIDIA Shield and Apple TV. It also looks like blank media like SD cards will also be part of this tariff round. And these things are generally paid for by consumers. This is not China paying for it. Uh, so when these goods come in, the cost to import those goods will go up by 25%, and that will get passed right down the uh, chain to you, the consumer, in the end. Uh, so be prepared for that. What might happen is that some companies might begin bringing products in from other countries, but the cost will likely be higher from those places. So in those instances, maybe something that costs 100 bucks today might cost $118 tomorrow, which is still cheaper than the 125 you would pay importing it from China. But nonetheless, your cost will go up. And in the case of a product that comes in from a different country, uh, the United States government doesn't even benefit from the tariff on that either. Uh, so we've got a lot of stuff that we need to prepare for here. So for example, uh, the NVIDIA Shield, if we look at uh, that 25% tariff taking effect, will likely bring the cost of this product up to uh, almost $237 from $189 that it's currently selling at on Amazon. Uh, the Nintendo Switch will also be hit with almost $75 in added cost. So that $300 console may suddenly cost you $373.75. Now it remains to be seen how much of, of an impact the companies will want to put on the consumers initially, but over time it's going to be very hard for Nintendo to uh, keep this product at the same price given how low the margins are on the hardware in the first place. Now as far as computers are concerned, at the moment this tariff round is not impacting pre-assembled computers, but it is impacting the parts that you might build a computer from. Uh, some things like cooling fans, for example, are now being hit with a 25% tariff rate. So you might start seeing some of the parts that you're buying to build your PCs going up in price rather significantly if you've been tracking the cost of those components over time. Uh, big companies like Dell, who assemble products here in the US but import the parts for those PCs, are also feeling a bit of a bite here. In fact, Dell has increase some of their prices according to this PC Magazine article uh, because of the increase in cost of parts. And if you think about a company like Dell that's pushing out thousands of computers a day, 25% more on the cost of your cooling fans will certainly have an impact on your bottom line and will require them to raise prices, uh, which they have done according to this article. Uh, they did that during the initial round when the tariffs were only 10%. What's interesting though is Dell said we haven't seen an impact or any real apparent negative impact to demand even after they raise prices, which I thought was rather interesting, which makes you wonder if these tariffs are having any impact on consumer demand from China. From this article, it sounds like Dell raised their prices and just left it be uh, with their existing supplier relationships intact. Uh, but who knows what'll happen as more things get tacked on. And of course, if pre-assembled computers become part of that mix, that will undoubtedly hurt things. But I do think it's rather interesting that when you've got companies that are employing American workers to actually assemble products here in the US, they're being penalized by these tariffs, whereas uh, direct importers of fully assembled PCs at the moment are not. But I think this might be where we'll see things heading. So the bottom line here is that we don't know where this is headed, but I do know that everything that we talk about here on the channel is undoubtedly going to get more expensive as this trade war continues because we'll either be paying higher tariffs and if those tariffs don't go away, we'll be importing things from countries where it's more expensive to make the things that we buy. And either way, we the consumers will be losing here. So just be prepared for that. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.